Decimase folds in a patient with a previous trabeculectomy. What's the cause? Now, decimase folds in this context are a characteristic clinical finding in a patient who has developed hypotony after the trabeculectomy surgery. And hypotony usually refers to abnormally low intraocular pressure, typically less than six millimeters of mercury, and this in itself can lead to structural changes in the cornea. Now this patient had a intraocular pressure of four, and that was verified with golden alternation tonometry. And we can see that these folds appear as multiple parallel intersecting lines on the corneal endothelium and decimase membrane, and these folds occur due to wrinkling of decimase membrane caused by decreased intraocular pressure, resulting in a decrease in corneal rigidity and affected curvature. So you might be thinking, well, how does this change the vision? Well, one of the things that happens is patients have a myopic shift in their refractive error, so vision goes down. And vision may improve with pinhole, but unaided vision goes down. And this occurs because the reduced intraocular pressure causes the cornea to become more curved, increasing its refractive power, and causes shift towards myopia. Now, an underlying cause might be overfiltration through the surgical fistula, excessive wound leak, or decreased aqueous production, and this may lead to insufficient intraocular pressure to maintain the corneal structure. Now, in this case, there was no leak, but they had a good bleb, and they were also on multiple topical IOP lowering treatments. So we stopped one of these, and we've arranged follow-up in our glaucoma clinic. There you can see that trabeculectomy bleb, and we're gonna see how they go. So treatment focuses on addressing the hypotony and as we've done, withholding some anti-glaucoma medications, you may want to consider topical steroids to reduce inflammation and applying it, some people may, depending on the cause, um, consider a bandage contact lens if there's leakage, but you know, monitoring is essential as prolonged hypotony can lead to complications such as hypotony maculopathy and that can actually cause permanent vision loss. So in summary, decimase folds in hypotony post trabeculectomy reflect corneal structural changes Think about myopic refractive shift and make sure to keep these patients under a close observation, um, ideally under the care of a glaucoma specialist. Hope you found this video useful. Now you can see there's evidence of that glaucomatous optic nerve.